Brain Leak. Hello, dear listeners, and welcome back to the Brain Leak Audio Sensational Podcast. Sorry, that's my boat. If you're listening, put on headphones now. Unless you can't afford them. Hello! God, Jimmy's gotten scraped up by the pot. The lobsters are eating him. <laughs> I'm tearing him off limb by limb, toe by toe. <laughs> the waves, the waves, Captain. They're engulfing him. They're engulfing him. They're swallowing him all. <laughs> you have to get the intro going. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, God. Autobots. He will never recover from this mentally. His children will grow up without a father. I'm going to turn into a truck now. Are you doing a thing, or is it just from your head? Well, it's from my head until you were like, Autobots, I'm going to turn into a truck now. And oh, then and then I you start doing the, Lincoln Park. Yeah. yeah. Do, 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 do. Kuts, kuts, kuts. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> my favorite Lincoln Park song. <laughs> yeah, it's called Wait For Me. Or, what is it? What I've Done. Uh, yeah. What I've Done. Where I've Come. Hey, All no. on the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's every... <laughs> Where? Let me get some water. Fuck, that made it worse. <laughs> Why is cum so weird mixed with water? Anyway, we really do just talk about it all the time, don't we? Yeah, but, you know, what's better? Cum in the sink or being on the brink? Mm-hmm. And I'm always on the brink, <laughs> so I will continue. I'm always edging. <laughs> Ever closer to my inevitable demise. I like this setup. This looks yeah, good. It looks nice. We look good. Mm-hmm. I we... tried to tell you the other day. I was like, should we get a third camera? And you're like, Wah. I, I, I did make that sound. Yeah. Blah. Blah. This is the first time I wake up whenever I wake up. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do. I always have to prepare myself a little bit. We're doing smelling salts again because it actually does wake you up. And it, it feels does. like we're coke addicts. Yeah. Is it safe to do... Reg- Bodybuilders do it all the time. Bodybuilders also inject themselves with steroids, so I don't think health is a massive concern for them. Yeah, well, it's fine. It ca- it's not going to kill you. <laughs> oh, oh, it really oh, just baby. gets the synapses firing. Oh, oh, I was God. yawning before this, and now I'm like... Now I'm shawning. You want one more for the road? <laughs> All right, a little whiffy for daddy. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, yeah! Be a man. <coughs> you smell exalts. Pull your balls out in public. <laughs> God. I always get whiplash from it. Like, I always, like, involuntarily you throw have my to. Hip head back. No evolutionary science is going to let you sit over that. Mm. It's, it's like a- when you're pissing and you have to be like, ah, no! I don't want it! Ah! <laughs> It's when you're pissing at a urinal and there's some guy next to you and you're like, oh, you can't look at their penis. Oh, no. And then he spits in the urinal. Oh, I do that constantly. Is that why you're saying that? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I do that too. Because you tweeted that. Uh-huh. And I was like, I do that. And then all the comments were like, you're a fucking freak. <laughs> yeah. Sound off in the comments when you're pissing. If you've got a, if you've got a dick swanging out there for the urinal and you're going in the urinal... It's always, you start to salivate. (laughs) (laughs) And it's like, man, I really got to spit right now. Well, usually for me, it's that I'm going to a, I'm going back in time uh. till I'm 12. (laughs) I'm going to a urinal when I'm at like a pub or Mm -hmm. a bar and I've had a couple of drinks Mm -hmm. and then the dam has burst and I'm ready to piss nonstop. So at that moment, it's like, I kind of want to spit. Yeah. I go tribal. Mm-hmm. I go old school, caveman. Oh, yeah. Back in the cave with my tribe. <laughs> oh, we should, we should uh, go to one last pub tonight. We're going out to a friend's house. <gasps> Shit, you're right. 
fucking asshole. Well, how insensitive of you. Sorry. Why would you do that? Well, did you forget? A little bit, but I forget a lot of things. What's okay. my name? Hit man. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that turn into word association? Do you do you have oh. Hitman? Yeah. No, do you have a word? I think we talked about this. My word is always corn. Did we talk about this? No. If someone is like, I want you to say the first word that comes oh, to mind. Oh, yeah, you did tell me this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's always corn. I don't know why, but it always You're going to have to surprise me sometime in the middle of this podcast. I doubt you'll remember. <laughs> and just say, first word comes to your head. Oh, yes. Now all I'm thinking is corn, porn, torn. I'm like rhyming Mm -hmm. instead of thinking of the first word that comes to my head. I don't know what it would be. Wet. Well, it depends on... (laughs) Slip and slide. It it depends on the association. Bubbles. I suppose. I love that word. Bubbles. Yeah, you said that was your favorite word, and I think it's a good one. I think it's my favorite, one of my favorite words to say. Bubbles. 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 Mm-hmm. I think squelch is one of mine. Squelch is pretty good. Wet they're, they're very onomatopoeic words. I I think that people get too too worked up about the word moist. I yeah. like I like moist moist. I don't know. It's fun. Yeah, people. I think as people tend to think about it in a sexual nature. Well, why does everything have to be sexual around here? Nice tits, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, whoever's watching, nice tits, by the way. (laughs) Hey, are you hanging dong like you've never hung dong before? I think of... Hey, sweet ass. You've got a winning personality. I'm afraid... Your eyes are like sapphires. It's just... Keep... And your balls are like gold. (laughs) Golden nuggets. (laughs) Let me melt them down in my (laughs) mouth. (laughs) They're worth their weight. Um... I'm worried about the day that somebody comes up to us uh, uh, years down the line and it's like, hey, what up, leaker? And we're like, hey, stay leaky. And they're like, I did. And here's a human to prove it. Conceived during the podcast. Oh, during a listening my God. I have thought about that before. How many people have done it while a Jacksepticeye video is on in the background? <sighs> many. Like, not people saying like, hey... Let's put on Happy Wheels. Why don't I set the mood? <laughs> happy Wheels! <laughs> Top of the morning! <laughs> but there has to be people that like like your videos, my videos, yeah. Unis Anis, anything Any, really. Anything. Thousands. I think, I think of our friend circle. The person, the channel that has had the most sex to... Their videos, yeah, Grumps. Because yes. I, I think that people it's background, content, yeah, people yeah. put the Grumps on a playlist. Yeah, it's also a lot more palatable. Mm-hmm. I hope there's been some people out there going at it, and some guy is like, "I'm in the fucking zone," and then yeah. something I've said in a video has just train wrecked him, <laughs> has just ruined his whole day, his whole flow. He's soft as a fucking. Okay. Fajita. I have, I have a reference, a Jacksepticeye reference. Okay. <laughs> that I hope you won't get upset about. I know you won't. Why but the first thing that, that comes to mind is they're really going at it. Mm-hmm. And then your video of that dragon cancer comes on. <laughs> oh, and it's the part no. where you go, this reminds me of when my granny died. Oh, <laughs> and you yeah. Because those are the ones that you would have on in the background. Because mm-hmm. those are the longer ones. That's yep. like, yeah, those are like mood setters and... Yeah, oh man. Don't watch that one if you're if you're plowing down. Yeah. What is if you had to uh provide a tasting menu, let's say. <laughs> a flight uh, or a, a, a playlist of Jack Septic Eye videos to fuck to. <laughs> <laughs> what would be Anger there? Foot. Mm-hmm. Um no, it has to be something that's just like really pumped up, like something where mm-hmm. I'm just fucking feeling it. Also like paper papers please three or something. <laughs> Happy maybe, Wheels forty nine. Maybe like a uh a cluster truck. Yeah. Like real high energy. Like that just, and it also has like a beat to it. Yeah. Instead of like, bam, 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 bam. <laughs> that meme that went around is like, yeah. obviously he wasn't <laughs> fucking to that. You'd be fucking to it. They're like BPM. You wouldn't be fucking to the melody. Well, 
We don't know for sure though. It could Although be she the did say that he was bad at it, so yeah. she knew what song it was instantly. Oh. But it's like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe if you don't know what we're talking about, brief synopsis: there was a Reddit post where somebody said that there was a horrible song that came on every time that uh, her and her partner were having sex, and the sex was bad. And she was like, "Can you please stop putting this song on?" And then he stopped, but he would still fuck to the to the melody. To the melody. It's like or the, the beat if you're going down song. on someone, it's like spell the alphabet with your tongue, mm-hmm. kind of thing, or like spell out coconut with your hips. Mm-hmm. That's apparently another one. Is it? But yeah. So I I think some people do that where they're like, "I'm bad at sex. I need to like the team." Not you, the person who would be sitting on you. <laughs> I was like, I don't really get that. <laughs> Jesus. There's a whole lot of movement. It's the opposite of what Ninja was looking for. <laughs> there wasn't enough going on. This is too much. And I've seen enough movement. Anyone <laughs> flossed out there as their go-to move? I wish I wasn't wearing these stupid clothes. Yeah, I feel like I'm a... I feel like everyone's gonna make fun of me when I, when I step outside of this building. They're gonna say you look like a Christmas fool. Is what you look like. I went to the store and the guy said it would look good on me. And then I left the store and kids threw eggs at me. I wish that there was a better way to get clothes that fit well, are breathable, stretchy, comfy, and look good. Well. According to this document I have on my phone in front of me, it says men's closets were due for a radical reinvention and Roan stepped up to the challenge. Roan? Roan. R-H-O-N-E, Roan? Yeah. What is it? It's um, the day they do. You do? <laughs> <laughs> they got really good clothes. Like, they help you get ready for any occasion with the commuter collection, which offers the world's most comfortable pants. My pants don't even fit me. Oh, man. That's not comfortable. It makes me feel like a fool. The commuter collection. This sounds like they have really stylish and comfortable wares that <laughs> even Santa's elves could wear when they're on their way to the workshop. Comfortable? Which they also, also live at the workshop, I think. Which yeah. I don't know if that's allowed. <laughs> I don't think it should be. Well, Roan's comfortable four-way stretch fabric provides breathability and flexibility. Leaves you feeling free to enjoy what life throws your way. Uh, this is my circle of danger. <laughs> Rome would allow me to go so much further beyond. If I wanted to get new clothing, looking comfortable, looking fashionable for the new year ahead, would I just have to go to Rome.com slash brain leak? Yep. That's R-H-O-N-E dot com slash brain leak? Yep. And use code, it says right there, brain leak. 20% off your order. Yeah. Roan.com slash BrainLeak and use code BrainLeak for 20% off your order. It's time to find your corner office comfort. Man. What's the best dance for sex? The floss is pretty good. Yeah. Or that one. What's the one where you like arm and leg at the same time? Oh, yeah. I don't know what they're called. I, Even in I Fortnite, no I don't. Orange Justice, you got to do it to oh, that. Oh man! You're just <laughs> no, that you do Orange Justice once you've successfully <laughs> come. I have come, and then you stand up in the middle of the floor. <laughs> oh, did it! Did it! Hell Good yeah! Stuff. Excellent. Well, we're off to a fantastic start. I, I think this might be a banger episode. I think that the best crank gameplays video to fuck to uh would be it's a very old video called cereal king it was uh i don't know why i made it It like breakfast cereal or cereal killer no breakfast cereal Mm. uh and it's me eating a a box of cereal and i just get real intense with it oh Um, it was like one of those like older youtube videos tearing into it and i was just tearing into it just getting my face all up in that milk oh yeah um and that was the whole video. It was like 40 seconds long. So. Plenty of time. Mm-hmm. Exactly. More than enough. Yeah, like I twice. Think. Yeah. At least. At least. Two, three, four times as much as you need. Yeah. I think people definitely need to fuck to like Happy Wheels 69. Because oh. it's, it's very rare that you do a series that has a 69th episode. Mm-hmm. So that just has to be in the playlist. I think that that is maybe unintentionally your most sexed to video probably probably 
Sick. Because I think people would purposely be like, well, <laughs> it's a funny sex number. I'm putting out a challenge that you have to start having sex when Happy Wheels episode one plays and you're not allowed to finish until 104 is done. Okay, can we quickly do the math of how long that is? Oh my God. That is. That's there's probably at least days. It's at least 10 to 15 minutes an episode mm -hmm. times 104. Mm hmm. Like a thousand minutes, which is Alexa. What is twelve hundred minutes in days? One thousand two hundred minutes is twenty hours. Oh, it's oh. not even a. What is the Guinness Book of World Records for longest session? Yeah, I don't know. After four hours, it feels like that's a problem. Well, they tell you that the government says after I, that, four Well, that's hours. just for Viagra. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What is the Jamie pull it off. Record <laughs> pull it off. <laughs> Jamie pull me off. August. 15 hours 7 minutes and 23 seconds. That is miserable. Yeah, that sounds How? 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 I hope that they used a lot of lubricant. 16 sex world records you literally won't believe. Okay, yeah, I agree to the cookies. Calm down, just give me the list. <laughs> Longest <laughs> masturbation session. <laughs> this this is awful. Okay. Uh, <laughs> nine hours and 33 minutes. Just like wow. you have actual hand calluses at that point. And yeah. your dick is just And dick gone. calluses. Most orgasms in well, one hour. Was the longest masturbation session by someone with a penis? Or does it specify? Because that's uh, very different. Um, I don't know because the name Masanobu Sato. So I can't just make an assumption off of the name alone. Yeah. But yeah, nine hours, 33 minutes. Uh, oh, wait. Yes, it was a man. Okay. Um, oh, he's gearing up to break his own record. Oh, Jesus Christ. Or break the new record because it's increased to 10 hours and 10 minutes. Why? <laughs> does, does a Guinness representative have to sit there and watch him jerk it for 10 <laughs> hours? Yeah, wait, I didn't even think about that. For, for a world record to be broken for Guinness Book of World Records, someone from Guinness has to be there yeah. to verify it. So somebody has to sit there for 10 hours. Playing Suica game and... <laughs> just God. Fucking... Uh, are you done? Oh my God, it's two hours. Okay. I wonder what the... Because you can't... Hmm. I wonder if the record is like, you just have to constantly be going. Or if you can take like a 15 second break. I like to think that he has to keep a consistent tempo. Man, and now I want to learn more about that record. How many strokes is that? You know? Was he erect the whole time? There's How no. did he eat? Oh, man. Was he fucking one-handing a like hot dog as he was handing a hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny. So, like, and here's your meal, sir. And he's like, really? You brought me a fucking hot dog? <laughs> and they're they're like, for dude, you're hours. jerking off for 10 hours. <laughs> We're going to have fun with it. What do you want us to do? We're not going to take this seriously. Um, the world record for most orgasms by a single woman in one hour is 134. Oh, my God. The... Record for men stands at a measly 16 orgasms in the same same length of time. 16? After like three, I feel like it just starts hurting. Yeah, I don't know how, I would, how I'd be able to do that. A hundred? That means like every fucking touch you're getting. In an hour? That's mm -hmm. more than one orgasm a minute. Uh, similarly, in 1966, a woman experienced the longest orgasm on record, which lasted for 45 seconds and resulted in 25 individual contractions. 45 seconds? Mm-hmm. I mean, 45 seconds is a long time if you're actually just, like, sitting there and counting it out. Yeah. But I would have thought that it would have been, like, something went wrong and she had an orgasm for six hours. Now, I will say... People can be very good at faking orgasms. How do we know that the orgasm lasted for 45 seconds? They had heat cameras, temperature Ooh. sensors, thermometers up there. Yeah, they must they, have. They were measuring the contractions. They, they had, had, they had a, what are they called? Calipers just in yeah. there being like, in, uh, she's still going. 
they're they probably like put, hooked up to a polygraph kind of thing measure the brain waves yeah damn oh the oldest pair of twin sex workers i don't want to know that one all right 70 i don't <laughs> <laughs> i don't like the idea of anything sexual involving twins the largest natural breasts oh god oh. are the state of michigan <laughs> yeah wow they weigh between anywhere between this seems like a large range between 55 and 85 pounds they are a uh, 102 triple Z's. What the <laughs> fuck? They ran out of alphabet for them. Wow. That Damn. I I hope that that person is okay. I feel like that's like <laughs> mastectomy for sure because that just sounds painful. Annie Hawkins Turner, better known as Norma Stitz, aka Enormous Tits. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> And then it, the uh, the article ends with Team Norma forever. <laughs> oh Santa, oh Santa, you're always talking about how you don't know, uh, you don't want to work no more because you don't want to go all over the world delivering presents for the good boys and girls all over the world. You are just so tired. I'm so very tired. This one night is all the houses, and they just keep popping up. There's just more and more every year. There are more every year. Now, Santa, I heard... <laughs> <laughs> I heard of a great solution for you. What is it called? <laughs> can you remember without reading? I can remember, because I, just like you, Santa, am omnipotent. <laughs> omnipotent. Omnipotent. <laughs> Omnipotence. I've heard... Of the reindeers saying a couple of little things about a little station. For it's called stamps.com. What does stamps.com do? Well, it makes it easy for you to ship all of your things all over the world. No. It makes it so much easier for you, Santa. You don't have to even go anywhere. You just go, you ship it <laughs> with stamps.com. Plus, when it comes to those inevitable holiday returns, ShipStation automates, recommends, exchanges, and gathers customer feedback, so even if they bought the wrong size or color, they'll still have a great experience. They'll have a great experience, Santa. You will have so much stress off your big, bulky, muscular oh, shoulders. Mrs. Close. I love that your accent come in and out. <laughs> Mrs. Just like you do to me. <laughs> Mrs. Klaus. Mrs. Klaus. <laughs> oh, good in him. <laughs> Did you know that also ShipStation has enterprise solutions that reduce warehouse cost and improve profitability? You've been down in the red for so long, and I'm not just talking about your suit, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. I'm not reading it off my phone. I'm actually playing Vampire Survivors. Santa! Stop looking at my build! <laughs> Santa, you can get discounts up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. The elves Ooh. charge you so much money. You don't need to do it no more. Over 130,000 companies have scaled their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation, and 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life, for Lieben. <laughs> if there's one thing I know about Santa, it's that he loves e-commerce. He loves a good bargain. <laughs> good bargain. So go to ShipStation.com and use code BRAIN today to sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com. Use code B R A. I am. Oh, my God. <laughs> Most sexual partners in a 24-hour period. Oh, what? Is it going to be like a thousand? Uh, porn star Lisa Sparks at an event in Poland reportedly had sex with 919 individual men back to back within a 24-hour period. Oh, my God. That is, that, is that allowed to be like... Oh my god, it's like a fucking buffet. So she was just lying down and like men came up and had sex with her? I guess, for 24 hours. Do they have to come? Or is it like... Because uh, if you don't come, it still counts as having sex. I don't know. It does not say. Because otherwise I guess you could just go in and out and then be like one, in and out, two, in and out, three. It, it doesn't give enough... Uh, was that her nickname afterwards, in and out? But... <laughs> <laughs> animal style 
Oh. Um, it doesn't seem like it would be that because 919 in 24 hours, if you're just doing one, just like shit, shit, doesn't seem. Yeah, it seems could, like you could get way more. You could get like 900 in an hour and a half. Uh, this record still remains uh, since 2004. These are sad records. Yeah, these yeah, are someone like Rubik's Cube in 3.2 seconds. It's like, whoa, sick. This one's like, are you okay? Wow. The oldest virgin, UK-born secretary, uh, died a proud virgin just before turning 108 years old. Wow. Biggest collection of penises. Uh, <laughs> Sean McLaughlin, <laughs> Brighton, England. <laughs> 200 penises. That doesn't seem that What do you mean? Much. A collection of penises. Are oh. we talking dildos or do they just have severed cogs in their house? Uh, this is, I need very much specificity hmm. on this one. If you're looking specifically for a collection of more than 200 penises, you're going to head to the Icelandic Phallological Museum in Reykjavik. You'll see whale la, penises, la, 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 fox la, la. penises, penises belonging to characters from Icelandic folklore. We have to go. Oh. <laughs> we have to go to Reykjavik and go to the Penis Museum. Oh, no, we have to. Oh, we have God. to. This is our lives now. This is a one-stop phallus shop. Bring your own condoms, <laughs> it says. Wait, what? I don't know. Are you allowed to fuck the penises? Why would you bring condoms? I don't know. The world record for the largest orgy was broken in 2006. 500 naked writhing bodies came together in more ways than <laughs> one in Japan. Wow. Well done, Japan. <laughs> Biggest <laughs> orgy. The most queefs in 30 seconds. <gasps> why is it... Why are these time frames so <laughs> all over the place? Most orgasms in an hour. Most partners in 24 hours. Most queefs in 30 seconds. I don't know, but it was 93 queefs were let rip in just... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Reportedly let 93 queefs rip in just one minute, but this says 30 seconds. I guess if you just pull half of those out. <laughs> All hail Chief Queef. <laughs> <laughs> the world's strongest vagina lifted a 31-pound kettlebell. Whoa. 31 pounds is what? Like Alexa, 70 what's kilos? 31 pounds in kilos? 31 pounds is about 14.1 oh. kilograms. Damn. 14 kilos. You're Alexa, lifting a small child. What's 13 and a half inches in centimeters? 13.5 inches is 34.29 centimeters. 34.29 penis? Wait. Is that uh, flaccid? That's not. Yes. Alexa. <laughs> that is not erect. <laughs> what's 19 inches in centimeters? 19 inches is 48.26 centimeters. <laughs> That's bigger than a fucking full ruler. <laughs> no. Oh my God. That's a ruler and a half. It's almost two. That is insane. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, I'm getting a measuring tape. <laughs> Longest ejaculation by distance, 18 feet. Holy. That's like probably as long as this room. What? the fuck? Yeah. Okay, I can't find my good measuring tape. This one doesn't stay erect. <gasps> Wait! We have to try the thing that's been going around on TikTok. I really thought you were just going to say we have to measure each other's. No, 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 no. We have to. We have to guess. You can't look. You pull up the ruler to six inches. And you have oh. to stop where you think six inches is. Okay, so I'll face it away from me? Yes. Um, I think it's broken. You can't see through it, right? No. Cool. That. Five. Just over five, I guess. You can't see that. You there can't you go. see that. Okay. And then we'll we'll do mine in a in a minute because we need to I need to forget. I'm gonna shuffle the cards. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get the ruler for? Oh yes, 42 the forty two centimeters. That's a, that's not a blessing. That's a curse. <laughs> that is an absolute curse. First of that all, that is my torso. <laughs> that's horrible. Two centimeters is basically my shoulder to my hip. So, 
It's like, oh, damn, he's got a huge penis. That would be awful. That's my knee to my hip. No one would want that. No. No, don't, no one would want that. Also, I think you fucking pass out every time you get a boner. You probably can't even like get a boner. Like me fainting on the toilet. He's like, wakes up with morning wood and he's like, oh, fuck. He probably can't. Like, there's probably not enough blood in this body. Yeah, it's like a brontosaurus. Yeah. It's like, how do they pump so much blood to their he- brains? Um, I want you to guess what the world record for the longest kiss is. Now, it doesn't say here if they were, like, making out or if it was one single kiss. Like they were just lip to lip? Yeah, it doesn't specify. <sighs> I'm going to say something like four days. Uh, Do it in hours. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what four days and hours is. After 72 hours, I'm like, that is, as far as I go. I'll give you a hint. It's under 72 hours. Okay. Uh, 53 hours. Really close. 58 hours and 35 minutes. Wow. I can't remember. I thought I read something before that somebody had like a kiss for like 14 days or something. But clearly I'm not. So... Uh, we went bowling earlier. Yes. And how how fast was your fastest bowl there? It was probably like 20 miles an hour or something like that. I think it was like just over 19 today. The fastest recorded ejaculation, which is a jet of semen traveling out of the penis, okay. was recorded at 42 miles an hour. <laughs> what the fuck? What is 42 miles an hour in kilometers an hour? <laughs> 60, basically 67 and a half kilometers an hour. <laughs> not my, literally. Ah. That is like as fast as Spider-Man's web shooters. Yeah. Fucking shooting ropes. Maybe he will be the next Spider-Man. Mm, Maybe. No. Spider-Man fights for good. That guy's doing nothing good this time. <laughs> okay, it's time how for do you, me to How guess. do you train that? Do you just do kegels nonstop? I don't know. Oh. Now remember, it doesn't stay out, so you're going to have to squeeze that bottom button. You're 6.1 inches, basically. Oh, 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 that baby. is very accurate. Guess that says a lot about us, doesn't it? Sure does. <laughs> <laughs> the longest, most pointless conversation was held by Sean and Ethan on the Brain League podcast for 78 episodes. <laughs> the most useless podcast of all time was the Brain League podcast. I feel like, did you ever watch SpongeBob growing up? No, only when I was older. There's an episode of SpongeBob where SpongeBob is getting these trophies all the time for like best fry cook or best mm. blah 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 blah. And Patrick gets really jealous about it and he starts trying to copy SpongeBob so he can get a trophy. Yeah. And then at the episode at the end of the episode, he finally gets a trophy. Uh and it's for doing nothing longer than anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like that's what this podcast kind of is. Doing absolutely nothing longer than anyone else. Santa baby, slip a little under my tree for me. You go to Harry's, get some razors for you. I was going to say for free, but they're not free. No. You know what? Santa needs to shave. Big All year round, you think he has a big bushel of beard? No. <laughs> he grows that one out for the special holiday season. The rest of the time, he is shaved down like a naked mole rat. He is unrecognizable. And the only way to do that is with Harry's razors. That's, That's what Santa's voice turns into when he shaves the beard. The jolliness comes from hair. Oh, yeah. It's a German engineered blade. Five of them. It's a weighty handle. Weighty handle. God. Elegant. Smooth. Oh, it does say German engineered blades right to your door. Whoops. Yeah. There weighty you know. handle. German engineered. Right to your door. You don't have to worry about going out to the store and getting them. They'll ship right to you. <sighs> yeah, because you get subscriptions to everything. You get subscriptions to Santa every year. You get subscriptions to Elf's. Anonymous. 
<laughs> you know, if you think about it, Harry's is kind of like Santa, you know? Just get stuff dropped down your chimney. Get stuff shipped right to you, all your blades. And, you know, Santa has needed a new blade for a long time because he says, you say, <laughs> <laughs> that the, you say it. Because he says that the eighth shave is as good as the first shave. That's right. <laughs> Feeling good about your decision? No, my legs hurt really bad. <laughs> The trial set is at $13 value for just $3 at harrys.com slash brain. Now, this is a deal you're going to want to take advantage from with Brain League Channel. If you go to harrys.com slash brain and use code brain, then you're going to really get some real good stuff for yourself. You're going to want to go get there, brother. <laughs> Sorry, Santa's a little drunk. That's harrys.com slash brain. I'm drunk at the savings. Harrys.com slash brain. Get yourself We've talked about Harrys before. Harry's you guys know the drill by now. If you're a leaker, you're a lover of Harrys. You can Harry's. come on over, get yourself some, some German blade engineers, razors. Harrys.com slash brain. You see, it comes into my brain every now and then as we're recording. I'm like, oh man, have we just like lost all the audience? Like knowing our audience, mm -hmm. I'm like, is it just funny to us? Or are people like genuinely fascinated by our conversations? Because we talk like this anyway. I know. And it's just an outlet for that. But I'm like, ah, should we make ourselves more marketable or just lay it bare like we are? <laughs> well, what did we just do for the past 20 minutes? We had a great topic. That, hmm? that is true. We should have saved it for the sex episode, though. Oh, episode 69. Oh! We, we can come back to it. We can come back to it. Come back. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we should think of something crazy for number 69. We should both get STDs. Well, do we have to go that route? <laughs> <laughs> well, do we have to? I think that for the 69th episode, it has to be in person. And we should we should both be laying on our sides with our legs up like this. But we, we have a camera pointing through my leg, <laughs> shooting your face, and a camera pointing your it's leg. It's just the episode where it's crotch cam. Yes. People would love crotch cam. We need more ideas like that. Like the Tope episode hasn't come out yet, hasn't so we don't out. know. Um, we don't know the impact on the world that it's about to have. Like, are we going to have a knee episode? Mm-hmm. An Elbisode? Ooh, Elbisode. A mouth episode? Fingisode? I think a mouth episode could be fun. A mouth episode should happen. Where it's just like macro shots of our mouths. Yeah, and the whole episode is done with ASMR voices with the Ooh. gain way up. That would be good. And it would be easy too because oh, it'd be kind of nice. I have that ASMR microphone with the ears. Yeah, I have it upstairs as well. We could do one ear each. Ooh. Wouldn't that be kind of fun? Sean on your left, Ethan in your right. That's kind of fun. That's kind of funky fresh. I pursuit. feel like we should do that sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. We have the power. We sure do. We have the power. But we have to see We have to see what kind of impact the Toposode leaves. Yeah. We kind of came out swinging with the Toposode. If we're going to do other body parts. Yeah, we kind of fucked it, didn't we? Jumped yeah. the shark real early. But it's okay. The episode. Like... We were saying in the Toe episode, people want to fuck everything. That's you know? true. So we're just, we'll just be proving our point. Instead of just taking a full body picture, we're just going to give you piece by piece. We're going to oh. edge you until the end of time. Oh. The hair episode. And at the last, it, it would have been so good if we didn't, if no one knew what we looked like. And we just slowly reveal our bodies. Piece That's by how piece. you face reveal. That's how you do it. None of this like, oh, I have, I'm faceless and now here's my face. Mm -hmm. Or like gradually like bits of your face reveal. No, you gradually reveal bits of your body. Yeah. Hand reveal, foot reveal, knee reveal, yeah. back of the knee reveal. You have to piece it together. Yeah. Hair reveal. Damn. Nose reveal. <laughs> Nostril reveal. <laughs> Butthole reveal. Yes, the butthole sewed. Oh, we have to get each other butthole chocolates. Oh yeah, we should. Who do we go for that? I don't. Where do we go? No, do you think that would hurt. Because you'd have to have something hot in your asshole. Depends on Wouldn't how you? hairy your ass is. Because I think peeling it off is going to be worse. I'm fucked. <laughs> I mean, I'm not great. I don't have a like a hairy hairy ass. Oh, but, I do, you know. I do. Mine's like fucking. I was gonna say Mumford and Sons. 
I don't know why. <laughs> that sounds like something that's hairy, you know? Don't they sound like hairy dudes? You got that Mumford and Sons ass. <laughs> I'm built like a fucking Yeti. It was not your fault, but mine. <laughs> your ass on the line. Oh, that's really funny. Yeah, I got I got a hairy ass. Well, Made me really insecure as a kid. Did it? You had a hairy butt as a kid? Or like puberty era. Mm. Or like as I was starting to grow hair in my body, it went there first. You had that hair down there. Yeah. Hair growing in places that apparently doesn't grow on any other man. <laughs> I would watch movies and like men would get nude and walk away from the camera and I'd be like, why is there butt hair? <laughs> What am I doing wrong? And then being in like school and like you catch a glimpse of some asses now and then. I'm like, mm -hmm. none of my friends have hairy asses. What's happening? What's happening to me? And then one of my friends was like bollock naked at one point and he had a hairy ass. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thank God. My brother in Christ. <laughs> <laughs> my brother in crust. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> we joined together. We call him Dingleberry Joe. <laughs> did you? I hope you did. No. Did you ever have any bad nicknames? No. You basically just had Jack. Yeah, right? I guess Septic Eye was the worst one I got. And yeah. But I decided to wear that as a fucking piece of armor. Mm -hmm. And now it's your legacy. That's what Tyrion says in Game of Thrones. Oh. Because he was a a dwarf, so they would always make fun of him. And he said, wear it as a piece of armor, and then no one can hurt you with it. Damn. And I was like, whoa, that's actually pretty fucking sick. That's fucking sick, dude. I'm not short. I'm just fucking awesome. <gasps> Who was it? I I'm can't not remember. Hairy, I'm just cool. Who died on the toilet in that show? That could have been you. Elvis. No, no, no. In the show. What show? Game of Thrones. Doesn't what's oh, the face Oh, Tywin down? Lannister. Yeah. He got, yeah, but he got shot by a crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could have been you. <laughs> I did have pain down there in like mm -hmm. the lower abdomen area, so. Maybe it was a ghost me. crossbow. Maybe Tyrion mm -hmm. was invisible. <gasps> could be sick. <laughs> and then <sighs> I just. Uh, did you make a noise when you fell? I guess you don't remember. I don't know. I hope you did. I made a... <laughs> <laughs> I made a massive thump. Evelyn said she heard it downstairs. She's like, huh, weird. Hmm, thunder. <laughs> <laughs> guess they're collecting the bins outside. <laughs> oh, what a story. What a story. That was legendary. Maybe this will be your canon event. <laughs> What's that music they always play from? Oh. Miguel O'Hara's music? Yeah. I can't do it because it's, it's close. electronic. It's you knew like, what I meant, though. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. You need to have more of a, like, wow, like, at the end of it. Oh, like, with Prowler? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think either of us were close. <laughs> no, I think we were pretty close. Somebody edit those together. Mixed them together, yeah. <laughs> I already did mine. Yeah, that kind of sounds like the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> Could you make any noises as a kid that you can't do now? I ma I used to make that exact <laughs> noise as a kid. I would walk around and do the. <laughs> I can't do it now. I used to be able to bark as a kid, and it sounded Ooh. really good. Uh, give us a go. Okay, I don't think I can do it anymore because one, I haven't tried it in a long time, but two, I tried it a bit ago and I couldn't do it. <laughs> this is one of those ones now where you go. Roo! No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be really embarrassing. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I have to gear myself up Get for it. Get into the bone I zone. To, <laughs> <laughs> I have to... <clears throat> me, 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 me. Mm. I have to find it. Tip the tim, tip the tongue. <laughs> okay. I'm so embarrassed. Don't look at me. Okay, ready? Hold on. Oh, I, it almost came out of me. <laughs> <laughs> you almost let the dogs out. I almost let the dogs okay, out. Okay, I won't look. And my bark look. was so good as a, as a child that I convinced my friend Tom that I was half wolf. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. It's not going to work. <laughs> Just do it! Okay. Hold on. You have to give me a, a couple tries, okay? <laughs> nope. Hold on. <laughs> this is the worst. People are going to think I'm a furry. <laughs> so hot. I feel like you on the toilet. <laughs> hey, at least you got a padded floor here. <clears throat> oh, God. <gasps> no, I can't. I have to stop. That's not it. bad. It's not bad. I used to be able to do it really well. Trust me. 
I believe you. I can hear it in you. I'm it. one of those people that Sound always so likes to imitate sounds that I hear, but it's like as soon as I hear it, I can like feel where in my throat it's supposed to be, mm-hmm. and then I know if I can do it already or not. Yeah. A dog bark is not something I can do. No? No. What's your best sound? <laughs> <laughs> the seagulls. <laughs> um, I don't know what my best sound is. The seagulls are really funny. I like... Um, I was watching a thing about... Futurama, and there's a voice actor in that called Maurice LaMarche, who's one of my favorite voice actors ever, but he's able to do a sound with, like, curling up his tongue, and it's like a burp sound, but it's like a really... And I used to be able to do that really well when I was younger. Hmm. Or, like, the the guy who says he wants a Baja Blast, but it's like, Baja That's pretty good, though. (laughs) I was always good at like monster sounds. Did you ever sing in your metal band? Did you ever scream? No. No. Hurts my throat. Yeah, I don't know. I know it's a thing that you have to like get used to, but I didn't want to ever get used to it. I saw a video the other day of people like making fun of uh, Axl Rose because they're still touring and he doesn't sound the same. And I'm like, he's been doing that voice for (laughs) seventy. Yeah, he's been doing that for such a long time. Yeah, no singer can really still do it. You have to be practicing all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I couldn't. I couldn't scream for my band. I mean, I probably could learn it pretty well, but I just never wanted to. Yeah, and it seemed like a hard thing to do. It seems damaging. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's also why I stopped doing crazy stuff in my videos. Like I would scream all the time in my videos. Yeah. But when I would record like Happy Wheels, I would legit have no voice after doing it. And yeah. then after 100 episodes, I was like, I really don't think this is good for me. And I I actually did like, like I used to be able to hit higher notes with my voice more consistently. And now I have to like really make sure my voice is like intact on a certain day to be able to hit a higher register. Because mm. I legit did damage to my throat, I think, I recording my videos. I used to be able to scream so high pitched. Yeah. I can't do that anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> can't do it. Can't do my big, my big horror scary scream. Mm. So I'm sure it, you could probably get that stuff back with practice, but I feel like I was like yelling so much wrong for so long that by the time I learned to do it without hurting myself, I had already done damage. Mm-hmm. Like we were talking about uh, last night of like, you know, getting older, you should stretch more and blah, 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 blah. I used to do vocal warm-ups every day before recording yeah. and did that for a while and then I just stopped and it was yeah. probably really good for me to do that. But yeah, you know, oh well. my throat kind of hurts now just from doing those impressions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just from doing my little dog bark. Yeah. It hurts. It's just no stamina anymore. No, I can't. I'm not the throat goat anymore. Oh, man. Nancy Reagan would have absolutely <laughs> She would have destroyed, destroyed at a Pantera cover. Any any of those records that we just read from, she could break them. I bet. Yeah. What's the most amount of cocks in one mouth? Nancy Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> You need to get someone who's who has the longest penis together with someone who can deep throat a penis the furthest. Oh, what a duo. Joint record. Man. Like a like one of those circus sword eaters. How do they do it? How do they do it? Esophageal control. Esophageal control. You like that word? I would be so afraid to start doing that. Like any of that stuff. Like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, because the swords aren't sharp, but they're definitely pointy. And they're long. Well, yeah, but the worst thing that could happen is when it's in you. I'm, I literally feel like I have to gag just thinking about it. Yeah, it's just like, if I, uh, if I like press here <laughs> for too long, <laughs> some voices that I do that I'm fucking gagging now. I have such a bad like gag reflex down here. But if you hold your thumb, <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can't do it. I have a terrible gag reflex. It'd be awful at sucking penis. Oh, man, listen, I'd be great at giving head. I think mm. you know, polish I a helmet. Yeah, I think I could. I just know the things to hit and just <laughs> <laughs> you know make those kind of noises. Ethan's gurgling. I'd be fucking. I'd give Nancy Reagan a run for her money. I'd say. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, she was still kicking around. Imagine that's your legacy. Nancy Reagan, first lady, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, Ronald Reagan's Uh, wife. mm -hmm. And that's her legacy? 
I think that's awesome. I think it's a great <laughs> legacy. <laughs> it's better than being known as Ronald Wag- R- Wad- <laughs> Wagon's wife. Ronald Wagon's wife. What we with this twelve goat? What are we doing the twelve goat and the Gwitty at the same time? <laughs> did she? Did she cheat on him with somebody? And that's why people know. Or was he just going around being like my wife? <laughs> I think, like Borat. <laughs> I think they were like kind of in an open relationship. I know that she used to like go to the MGM lot and just she just liked giving head. Apparently, oh, did because I there's that story about Bill Clinton as well. Like I did not have sexual relations with that woman. So I'm like, is it a same like that came out because of cheating allegations and rumors mm-hmm. and scandals? Ronald Reagan called her mommy, like publicly. <laughs> what? <laughs> yep. She called him Ronnie, and he called her mommy. <laughs> that is not the same. <laughs> I like to call her mommy. What kind of accent did he have again? Oh boy, I'm Ronald Reagan. Wasn't he kind of talk like that? Uh, I think so. Yeah. That's. Hmm. Wow. My what? wife Nancy gives great head. Gives great attention to the sack down there. <laughs> Wonderful throat game, my wife has. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, good old Nancy. Good old Nancy. She was great. She was great at it. <laughs> Maybe we can sit her down sometime for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, big fans. Talk about you a lot on the pod. Mm hmm. Wondering if we can have any tips. If you could toss any tips out there, what would? If you she's do? good at tips, at, at like <laughs> <laughs> if anybody's good at them, she's good at tips. Oh, uh, what if we get canceled for commenting on Nancy Reagan's crazy throat game? I think it's impressive. I think it's impressive too. I think it's great. We should never be canceled. Mm. I, I think agree. we're uncancelable. Mm-hmm. So true. Say something. <laughs> <laughs> Say something that will get you canceled. I guarantee it won't happen. Try it. Go ahead. You can use my mic as well. Stereo. <laughs> Try it. Try it. You might <sighs> like it. <laughs> oh, God. It's my last day here. Yeah. I leave tomorrow. Last, last in-person pod for a hot sec. Last podcast ever. Really? Yep. <laughs> Bummer. This one's probably going to actually get us close to Christmas. Yeah, actually. We, we can't just keep recording these and pumping them out and then being like, fuck, we forgot Christmas. We already forgot Halloween. Yeah, we didn't do a Halloween episode. We were but... finished the episode and I was like, wait, this goes up on Halloween. And then we were both like, oh, man, we oh, could have dressed man. up. We could have done Halloween facts. We should record a special Halloween one when you're, or a special Christmas one when you're in, yeah. in town. Yeah. And have a nice festive. Maybe we can use the Thankmas set for it. Yeah, we could use the Thankmas set. Uh, do you know if it's going to be real real festive and have like a uh, fireplace and stuff? It should. It should be pretty similar to what we've done before. Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd or be nice. they haven't done any of that. I don't know. It's close and they're working away at it and I might get there and it's like, we thought you wanted it World War II themed. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, guys, no. <laughs> What, what do you mean? That would be pretty funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're just sitting in a trench for all of Thankmas. Trenches were World War One. Oh, that's right. It that's was trench right. warfare. Mm-hmm. World War Two theming is uh, whatever side it depends on. <laughs> those are very different themes. We should we should get a really fun festive set just for the uh, the Christmas episode. Or just put a snow filter over the episode. Yeah. Or that. I mean, it's a podcast. Most people aren't watching it. Oh, we can we can have we can have Trey put in snow sounds. Put in some snow sounds right now, just for a just for a little glimpse. Maybe a jingle. What's that? Sandy Claus up on the roof. <laughs> Jolly old Mister. Get, get, get the gun. The <laughs> Santa on your roof would suck. Imagine the sound of that guy landing. I know. We're back on our Santa slander right now. Oh, we have to save the Santa slander. Yeah. That'll be the Christmas episode. We have uh, to get title. like Christmas facts. Mm hmm. Yep. I also realized we have like a middle cam and I was sitting here like scratching my leg. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like I'm just fondling my own balls. My balls aren't here. This is my leg. Yeah. Where are they? <laughs> As I sit here and I'm like, 
This is my leg. <laughs> oh. <coughs> See, I told you it's my leg. Yeah, we'll do a fun festive Christmas one. Oh, oh. And we'll drink mold wine. Ooh, mold wine. Mince pies. Mince pies. You guys don't have mince pies. We don't have mince pies. I don't know what that is, but it sounds nice. But mold wine would be nice. That would be cool. Yeah. Maybe some eggnog. Get Maybe each other a gift. Christmas cookies. Yeah. We need to like set a limit though. Okay. Hmm. Let's set it now. What's the budget? I think like fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Okay. Because I think when it gets above that, it's like, oh, now I can actually buy some nice things. Mm-hmm. And they shouldn't be like nice things. It should be stuff like the toys where it's like, you're going to like this. Yeah. All right. Like it's a pair of like... $50. $50. A pair of like titty baubles for your tree or something like that. Like it has to be dumb shit. Titty tinsels? Titty tinsel. Oh. Titty tassels. Titty tinsel. Titty tassels. I'm just going to get you a nude Santa calendar. <laughs> oh. Please. <laughs> Cock and balls. I would love a nude Santa calendar. We also didn't do the Christmas album we said we were going to do. Oh, next year. <laughs> <laughs> we just said Christmas. We didn't say what year. Yeah. Also, you know, if you're always in the festive mood, Christmas can come at any time. Yeah, so can I. You know, <laughs> Christmas is kind of just a mindset. <laughs> a grind set, if you will. That's what the elves have is the Christmas yeah. grind set. Look, it's been a busy year. I had so many things to promote in October and November, mm-hmm. and I feel so bad because it's like, oh, Thankmas is coming out, and that's really important, but I also had a U2's coming out, and that's contractually obligated, and new coffees are coming out, and I want that to do well. Mm-hmm. And then I have like all these other things that I had already signed up for ages ago, like a NordVPN thing, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. It's so many things back to back. And I, too, don't want to burn you out on them. Maybe 2024 is the year of chill for you a little bit. Yeah, I did tell people I'm not doing as many brand deals next year because I have coffee already and I'm just going to focus on that. Mm-hmm. Do some coffee. Do some brain leak. Easy yeah. Easy. We got some brain leak that we should be promoting more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Buado. Oh, Buado. What we a should do terrible some, we time. Should do some <laughs> what a terrible time to be alive, huh? <laughs> We should do some fun brain leak promo, like doing an actual lobotomy. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? I'm not so sure that hasn't happened to both of us already. <laughs> hey guys, who wants to volunteer for the for the brain leak lobotomy? Who wants to be? A- <laughs> I almost said the brain leak anomaly. <laughs> <laughs> who wants to be lobotomized on camera? Huh? We could do. Oh, I have a hammer like, and a long screwdriver. We could do it like a sweepstakes. <gasps> the brain leak lobotomy sweep. sweep the golden stakes. ticket. Yeah, we could do it on a cruise ship, just like Disney used to do. They would do lobotomies on a cruise ship? No, they would do the Disney cruise sweepstakes. Oh. But, I mean, they might have done a lobotomy, I don't know. The lobotom, the lobotisode. Yeah, the lobotisode. Yeah. We also need to think about if we want to go around on a tour. Mm. I think that would be very fun. I think it would be very fun. I think... Go meet some leakers live. Some live leakers? Oh, Oh, no. (laughs) We call the door live leak. Oh, my God. It's It's like, what what did they do at their tour? It's like, they show the most horrific, (laughs) gory deaths of all time for 90 minutes. And then we rank them at the end. Live leak is almost to the point where it's funny enough that we could do it, but I don't think that we should name it Live Leak, but that's really funny. The only reason I wouldn't name it Live Leak is because when you Google it, you will get actual Live Leak. Yes. Like if some people were out there being like, we want to go to the Live Leak tour, Mm -hmm. and then it's like you search Live Leak, and it would show that, and that's it's way too easy to get to that stuff. Yes. I agree. Oh, but Live Leak is a great name. That's really funny. That's oh. really funny. That can be like the, uh, like it's when a, they're when they're working on a game, but they don't want the actual like mm, title to be released, yeah, like the prototype. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I think it would be really fun to do a tour. We've talked yeah. about it a little bit, where both of us are like, we don't want it to just be the podcast. We want it to just be episodes. Want it, want it to be something a little more special. Um, yeah. Because the tour is fun. I think both of us like touring and being on stage touring. and meeting people. and mm. It's a good energy. It's great energy. It's very but fun. if we ever did do a live show, we wouldn't do this. We wouldn't just... No. I don't want to make people come out and pay money just for us to sit down and talk about whatever comes to our minds. Yeah. 
Because I feel like that's not worth paying for. No, it would be much more uh, planned out and structured. More scripted-ish and stuff like oh, that. Oh, it would be so fun, though. It would be so much fun. We just got to gotta have, like, a piss cannon. Mm-hmm. It's just full of, like, God. apple juice. And I'll we can never just spray escape. it into the crowd. I'll never escape the piss. Well, I'm I? sorry. You brought this upon yourself. I did a bit. I did. Just but lean into it. I don't want to be the piss guy. I uh, already, why not? I I'm the shitting am. guy. Yeah, I guess we have to have two sides of the <laughs> coin, don't we? Yeah, you got to be the piss guy. I'm the shit guy. Uh-huh. And together we leak. God damn it. You're right. My ass was literally leaking the other day. And I told... Hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah, you said it turned on like a tap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So why can't you be piss guy? Why don't you want to be piss guy? What is it? It's the piss thing. <laughs> About it. Hmm. Is it because you're ashamed of your past? A little bit. Hmm. I can Maybe. confidently say there is definitely a part of me that is a little ashamed <laughs> that I drank piss more than one time. Why? It was funny. You it provided was, entertainment. Yeah, it was good entertainment. You why, are you, why are you ashamed of it? I'm a hero. What's there to be ashamed of? I've tasted piss, and I wasn't even recording. Yeah, but you were a child. I was a teenager. <laughs> Man, just different. I mean, it's your own piss. Yeah, I guess. You didn't go out and, like, piss in my mouth. Yeah. It's not a fetish you have. No. And even if it was, that would be fine. Yeah, it's not, for the record. <laughs> Please. That's fine. <laughs> Fetishes are fine if you're not hurting anybody. That's true. If you're into feet, go for it. We mm-hmm. give you a whole episode. We did give you a whole episode. Just whole don't episode. give us cum tributes. Oh, please don't. Do I just that. don't want any of that stuff. I don't like, want keep that. it. Like, w- we can dish it out, but we can't take we it. We can't take it. No, it's, not at all. It's, <laughs> I do not consent to that. No, I don't want that. Please don't do that. But yeah, maybe break Brain Leak tour at, uh, at some point in the next couple of years or something. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? You can bring people up, ask them their most embarrassing shit story. Yeah. Oh, everyone that comes up on stage. Oh, we should call it the shit show. (sighs) That's kind of good. That is pretty good, but searchability on that is awful. (laughs) I like the merch idea of I went to see the Brain Lake tour and all I did was shit my pants (laughs) instead of like all I got was this crappy t shirt. It's like all All I I got was this crap. All I did was shit myself. Oh, see, I want to lean into that. Mm -hmm. At first, I was like, I don't know if this is funny or not, but now I'm like, nah, it's fucking hilarious. People like it. Yeah, people are into it. We've met some leakers out in live. (laughs) Out in live? Yeah, they've come up and said, leaker. Yeah, and if you see us and you're a leaker, hey. Say it. Piss on us. Yo, what up, leaker? (laughs) Please don't piss Piss yourself (laughs) right in front of us. I'm a leaker. Prove it. Yeah. Piss yourself right now, coward. (laughs) Seems like you don't listen to the podcast. Yeah. Oh, half a stream. (laughs) Rookie numbers. Yeah. We're going to have to pump up those leaders. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe we should start pissing in a jar (laughs) and saving all of our urine for the tour putting it in squirt guns and spraying it all over the audience every night i think that that's a biohazard and (laughs) it's probably illegal i don't think that's legal but i think that's hilarious (laughs) (laughs) if you come to the show you're gonna get pissed on (laughs) i wonder if we i wonder if we can do like (laughs) apple juice in a or something like lemonade or something that looks like piss in a squirt gun i don't know or like we can theme drinks at the venue to be like. I think that theming drinks we could definitely do. I don't know what the what the rules are about spraying anything other than like water into a crowd. I have no idea. Well, people apple juice is just water. Steve Steve Aoki throws cakes at people, doesn't he? Yeah, and I feel like that's like a neck hazard. Like you could break someone's neck with that. Sure, yeah. they agree to get thrown at, but and he has a great mm. aim. Yeah, he but does. he's getting really good at that. Where it's like, <laughs> you're not just sloppily hit, getting hit with cake. You're getting hit with the whole mass of that thing. Yeah, now. he's getting suspiciously good. <laughs> it's at just that. cake practice at home. Hmm. He doesn't hmm. even DJ anymore. He's just like throwing cakes nonstop. Yeah, he turns on a Spotify playlist and just. <laughs> <laughs> we should have something like that. Yeah, let's steal that idea. It's That's time good. to grow up our audiences. Yeah, the brain leak audience needs to be. 18 plus we mm-hmm. need to like bring these numbers up 
Yeah. So when we go out live, it's all people who know what the fuck is about to go down. Yeah. And we don't have to look at any kids in the audience with their parents and go, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I think that we should we should have people mosh at the Brain Leak show. Why not? They'll probably be sitting. <laughs> not for long. <laughs> yeah. Mosh where you are. We just start punching each other. <laughs> Pull up the chairs. <laughs> just, just pull up the chairs that are drilled into the floor. <laughs> and then the show's down. over and it's just a big pile of chairs in the middle of the venue. Like, yeah, we made so much money yeah. from this show, we're just going to pay for the chairs. Our influence. Look at this. We huh? should th- th- throw TVs. Like oh. CRTs. <laughs> like, like the big CRTs that weigh like 500 pounds. Yeah, like the Who used to throw out of like hotel rooms, yeah. allegedly. We should do that. Mm-hmm. Rock and roll. We need to bring back rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, which is These... all horrifically misogynistic and sexist. And yeah, maybe not that part, but you <laughs> know, the full in- of drugs and the intensity of it, ill consent. Yeah, like we we gotta bring back. We'll just bring back just... the the like the the bigger explosive aesthetic of it. Yes. I like the spectacle of it, mm-hmm. but not the behind closed doors yeah. aspect. Yeah. Of it. So if you come to the Brain Leak live show, um, behind closed doors, calling it live leak, but you know we're not going to say that. Um, but you know we'll be wearing all leather, mm. leather pants, like Slipknot. Yeah. We'll have. You'll keep growing your hair. Yep. I'll start growing my hair. Yep. Or maybe maybe I'll double down. Maybe I'll do like a cool rat tail. Mmm, shaved the sides. Yeah. That could yeah, be cool. you should go totally bald again. That didn't look weird at all. <laughs> no, yeah, that was <laughs> sick. I loved that <laughs> part of my life. <laughs> it's really good. Whenever you look back at that now, it's like, oh, he was going through it, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, man, he looks actually like an egg. <laughs> this is unfortunate. It wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't that bad. But what was bad was when it started growing back, and then I had to give myself a haircut in quarantine, and that haircut was really <laughs> rough. <laughs> <laughs> it was not good. You should just grow a tash. What does that mean? A mustache. Oh, a mustache. A mustache. Just grow a tash. I think I could do become it, like maybe. leather daddy. Mm, like the dad from I almost said In and Out. The dad from Inside Out. Yeah. Yeah. I was in a band once. That guy. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I want it. I want I that for the, for the tour. I know you do, but it's so hard to commit to it, Sean. It's so hard to commit to not shaving because it just looks so weird. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks so uncomfortable. It just looks odd, and I don't know what I, how I feel about it. Look, do you it. think this looks like a fucking god <laughs> when I started growing it? No. But look you at can see it over the 11 years of YouTube I've been doing, where it was like, mm. you can see where I decided to start growing it out and actually look okay. Do you know when that was? Like 2018. Damn. Not I used to have ago. it like just down here because the sides would be all patchy. Mm-hmm. And then I was just like, I want to grow the whole thing someday. And it looked really bad at first. And that was on tour. But at least you had this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't have anything. Because you have to grow it. <laughs> you don't just get it. Yeah, this Christmas is right around the corner. Yeah. You just got to hide your lack of Chad. Mm. I don't have a Chad jawline. Mm. But with this, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this bicycle seat. Yeah. <laughs> you want to sit on it? <laughs> you want to sit on my bicycle seat? <sighs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Maybe I'll commit to it. Oh, but it's, it's it's hard. What it, what is it about it that you don't like? It's the fear. It's the fear of the unknown. It's like jumping in the ocean, you know. Yeah. It's just I don't know what kind of creepy crawlies are down there. <laughs> I don't know what kind of shock to the system I'm gonna get. What if something grabs my toes? You know, on your face. Well, this is a a metaphor. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. You would As know someone... nothing about those. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a metaphor in a positive way of why I should grow out my facial hair. Ooh, because if you keep cutting your lawn as it's growing, it'll never look good. You got to let it get luscious first and then trim it up. And then it looks amazing. You could even put two-way stripes in it. (laughs) Like you mow one way and the other way. Damn, that would be kind of sick, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
Why do people do that with their uh, face? Another metaphor is the night is darkest before the dawn. Mm. <laughs> That's not a metaphor. <laughs> That's reality. Yeah. No, I I was, um, when I was 20, 20, actually, I think, 19 or 20, I started like thinking about growing it out and it was just the chin at mm -hmm. first. And if I shave too close, there's a big ball patch in here. Well, it's not bald anymore. It filled in, but it used to be like completely barren of hair. It was just like a little oval. So if I shave too close, the sides are thicker. So you'll still see it. Hmm. So that's why I leave it at this length now. And then just this grew. And then it took a really long time for the mustache to kick in. And then this all started kicking in. Hmm. So it was between the ages of like 19 and 24. Do you think that you had to let the rest of your face start to grow for your face to be like, oh, you go. You know what I mean? No, I don't think there's anything you can really do. It either grows or it doesn't. Hmm. I've tried, because I have this little patch over here that doesn't grow in. It's bald. But this side is fine, and I've tried the microneedling. You know, I look so much like my dad. He has a good beard. Yeah. Man. You also don't have to grow it if you don't want but I want to see what it's like. I'm just so afraid. Who knows what's out there? Darkest yeah. night and then dawn. <laughs> <laughs> we also won't get like a Harry sponsorship then. <laughs> oh, God. How can I do that? Um, just do it. Okay. It takes a while. It's like growing my hair out. Now it looks good. But man, that did not look good for like six months. <laughs> Wore a lot of hats. Still wearing a lot of hats. Still wearing hats, but now it's, it's more to keep the hair out of my face. Yeah. It's and I'm also worried that I'm at that age where if I am going to go bald, it's going to start now. Mm. So I don't want to like tie up my hair and pull my hairline back too much. Uh, like Jojo Siwa. What? Jojo Siwa has, uh, used to wear those giant, giant ponytails that were so tight. Does she have a bad hairline now? No. But a bunch of people were like... She's going to go bald because her hair is so damn tight all the time. Yeah, it is really bad for you to tie up your hair like that all the time. It was nah. such a tight ponytail. Oh, my God. Oh. The light died. Man. Oh, my God. House is shutting down on us. No, Jojo Siwa's hairline is fine. Yeah. And you're going to be fine, too. And all of you listening, you'll be A-OK. -okay. This is our... The light going out is our cue to cut yeah. it there. Well... Leakers, thank you so much for listening and watching. To another amazing episode. Amazing. I can't wait to... I want to see like five-star reviews on this one. Mm. At least. Yeah. You can't leave star reviews on YouTube, but you're anywhere, really. If you're listening to it somewhere, I'd, rate our podcast really highly. I would like to see some MLA-formatted essays about the Brain Leak podcast. Ooh. Only positive, though, please. Yeah. We can't take it. We've been doing this for far What's too that, long. Is that like 3,000 words? Uh, 1,000 words? I don't remember if there what the word count is. It's just the way that it's formatted. I want to see some like paragraphs of your reviews of the Brain League podcast just in the comments. Yeah. Or anywhere you want to post them. But again, just, only positive, please, because I my poor little heart can't take much more. Yeah. Or if you're gonna be like negative about it, be like funny. Yeah. And clever about it. Don't just say it sucks. Yeah. It's not constructive. No one likes that. No. Well, leakers stay leaky. I stay loving. <laughs> and above all else, stay, stay laughing. laughing. Wow. Drip, drip. Drip, drip, bitch. Brain leak.